The magician takes a deck of playing cards, and then he shuffles it to demonstrate to the spectator that there is no setup. Then he spread them on the table and asked the spectator to select three random cards. The card that the spectator chose were the nine of clubs, the ten of clubs, and the five of spades. Then he starts to make four piles of a random number of cards. After he made the piles, he tells the spectator to put one of the cards he selected on top of the first pile. Then tells him to cut a random amount of cards from the second pile and place them on the first one. Then he tells him to do the same thing with another card in the third pile. At the end, he tells him to put the last card on the third pile and then put together all the piles. Now the magician starts to deal one card face up and one card face down and tells to the spectator to say stop whenever he sees one of his cards. After he dealed the cards, the magician asks the spectator if he had seen one of his cards, and the spectator says no. The magician starts again to deal one card face up and one card face down, and also this time asks the spectator to say, stop, if he sees his card. Also this time the spectator hadn't seen any of his card. The situation is really strange. The magician had dealed nearly the entire deck, and not even one of the spectator card had shown. So the magician tries to deal another time, hoping that the spectator could see one of his cards this time. But the spectator couldn't see his card even this time. Few cards are left, and the magician deal them another time, hoping that is the right one. But also this time, the spectator couldn't see his cards. The magician dealed all the deck, but the spectator couldn't see even one of his cards, and he is left with only three cards. Then the magician flips the remaining three cards. The spectator is speechless. The three cards were his selections. For this trick, I used a normal deck of playing cards. The deck can also be shuffled in front of the spectator, because this trick doesn't need any setup. After you shuffle the deck, you have to make the spectator select three cards, or if you have three spectator, one card each. In this case, I picked the nine of spades, the ten of diamonds, and the five of diamonds. Now we start the most important part of the trick, making the four piles. The first pile must be of ten cards. The second and the third one must be of 15 cards, and the last one of 9. I prefer to make the fourth pile before the third one, because it is only made of 9 cards, and after you made it, you are left with the third pile. I prefer to do in this way because it is a bit faster, but you can do it how you prefer. Now you have to take one of the selection, that for the tutorial I left face up, and place it on the first pile and then cut a portion of the second pile on it. Do the same with the other two selections. When you placed all the selection close the deck in the way I do it. After that you have to deal one card face up and one face down. Be careful, deal first the card face up, otherwise the trick won't work. As you can see, the spectator selections will be always in the face down pile. After you dealed for the first time all the cards, ask to the spectator if he had seen one of his card, but if you had followed all the steps correctly, he would answer no. 
then deal the cards for the second time, and also this time deal first the face-up card, and then the face-down. Also this time asks to the spectator if he had seen one of his cards, but also this time he would answer no. Then deal the cards for the third time, but this time deal before the face-down card, and then the face-up. Also this time ask the spectator if he had seen his card, but he will say no, then deal the cards another time, this time before the face-up cards, and then the face-down. At the end, you are left with only three cards face-down that are the spectator selections. That's the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments and smash the like button.